Welcome back to the special edition of Local Lens Seattle. I'm Kelly Hansen, the host of King 5's YouTube series, and this is the guide to the city you love. Hey, are you looking for a new adventure? How about a weekend getaway? How about island hopping? Calling all Seattle foodies. How about some quiet time in the forest? Or a loud day at the game. Go Hawks! And if you're lucky, you might just get the freshest catch of the day. In a place like Seattle, adventure is everywhere. Join me, Kelly Hansen, for your next adventure just around the corner. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with you today and share all of my favorite things to do in Seattle. I'm born and raised here and I love showing off this city. We start with three women-owned businesses, everything from foodie finds to a couple hidden gems. So follow me on social media if you aren't already, and let's get going. Hi, my name is Diana Williams. Um, I'm the owner and founder of The Ride Seattle. It's a fitness experience, it's a, an emotional experience, it's an experience of community. It's a place where you can come in, work out, specifically on spin bikes, or with weights, or by sitting and being. And it's something that is approachable and accessible for everyone. It's a place where you can become who you are when you feel safe. You'll be given all the instructions you need to be comfortable and prepared for the class. It's 44 minutes long. And during class, you'll also be supported and loved and coached so that you can be successful. So I am so excited to try out the Ride Seattle for the first time. I really like spin classes, so, and I feel like you're just gonna be like, the most epic instructor. So here goes nothing. Oh, have you ever done spin, Bennett? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I already get the vibe that it's just gonna be amazing, and I'm just gonna feel right at home. So I'm scared, but yeah, I'm excited. I've actually been riding with Aina since 2012. Well, I hate spin classes, generally speaking, but I found Aina in like 2010, and then followed her from studio to studio until she opened the ride because she's yeah the only one I want to listen to. <laughs> I usually just wear normal shoes to ride a bike, so <laughs> this is a new experience for me. <laughs> Friends, we're gonna we're gonna try this out. <laughs> I'm excited. Ben and Olivia. Woo! So we're here on that left leg. second location of this tour and I'm so excited. I'm in Shoreline and I'm actually trying a food truck that is known for incredible breakfast sandwiches and I brought a couple friends who are obsessed. So let's just go, let's try it, let's meet the owners and I can't wait. I'm actually in the truck right now and I get to see how they're making everything and taste test very soon my sandwich. I'm so excited. Yes, that is amazing. Hi, I'm Tara Zampano. I'm one of the owners of Sunny Up Food Truck. We are egg sandwiches and breakfast food, all inspired by badass women. Most popular has gotta be our Josephine bacon. Um, that is got pepper bacon, runny egg, white cheddar, Thai aioli, and tomato jam, all on a Tolera roll. On a weekend day, um, we average around 300. So it keeps us busy, definitely. Um, we wanna serve as many people as we can, um, right up until we close. Taste test time with my two <laughs> friends, Carla Marie and Andrea. Do All right, it. let's see. Doing the hard work Cheers. today. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, I didn't get napkins. <laughs> so good. I think it's the best breakfast sandwich in town. <laughs> and I probably am dripping my face, huh? The I got the Ruth. Root. Ruth Tater. Ruth Tater. Ruth Tater, because there's a tater tot on it, mm -hmm. obviously. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. I'm so excited to taste test. 10, 10 recommend. I don't even like kale, and this is a beautiful combination. <laughs> Hi, I'm 
Kalina and I am the owner of Noir Lux Candle Bar. Our candle bar opened one year ago on February 12th, so we recently celebrated our first anniversary. The concept here is that it's an experiential candle making space. So when someone comes in, they have the option to pick out a vessel or more than one vessel. You can make as many candles as you would like during your session. And then it's a guided candle making session. So we help you pick out your fragrances, we walk you through pouring your candle, naming your candle, and just becoming an expert candle maker by the end of your session. If there was smell-o-vision in here, y'all, like it smells so good. Now I get to make one. I have my vessel. So first you put your wick, your long wick, in this metal base. Obviously this is what's gonna light it. We're gonna put this down so I put some muscle into it. Okay, so now we're at the stage where I get to pick and list the fragrances that I like. So obviously there's dozens of options, but I'm supposed to narrow it down to three. Okay, so this one's amazing, Volcano. It's the Capri Blue Dupe. Ooh, I do like lemon. Found my three. So. Fill your jigger. I didn't know ever what this was called. Okay. Fill your jigger with about half of like your favorite fragrance. That looks about half. The scent is in. And now we stir for two minutes. Okay, my two minutes is up according to the timer. And I'm getting just a lot of like sea breeze smells like I'm at the beach. And this is just so awesome. It's super relaxing and I don't know. I, I feel like usually I never light my favorite candle in my house because I always like, I'm trying to wait for like the perfect day to light it. But I don't know, why, why wait? Let's just light it up. Stick around for more fun adventures including glamping in a yurt when we come back. Welcome back, I'm your host Kelly Hansen. Local Lens Seattle is all about hidden gems, so here's some of my favorites right now. It's called the Sea Containers, an amazing, luxurious cabin in Index, Washington, and it's one of six cabins on this property, and I'm the first one to spend the night here, so I'm so excited to bring this to you. Let's go inside and check out where I'm staying. Da 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 da! Oh my lord. Check out this epic TV fireplace situation. LED lights, full kitchen, loving the design. Okay, I'm truly obsessed. My boyfriend is about to meet me too and we're gonna go fishing because the river is literally like 200 feet away from this place. Nick thought of everything. The finishes are incredible in here. Let's go check them out. Climbing up the second level, which is where the two bedrooms are and another bath. There's a steam shower, lava rock, and the rooftop hot tub. Did I mention that? Hi, I'm Nick Peach, and this is Index Washington. You've come to the Peach Pit, where my wife and I have been working on these cabins since 2010, and we are here at the brand new Sea Container Cabin. Literally, you are the first overnight guest. Always the best for Kelly Hansen. <laughs> I think it's something romantic about the idea of these shipping containers traveling the seas. Just thrilled that it's, that it's done, and uh, so excited to share it with you. Index is iconically beautiful. It's very famous for its rock climbing. I recognize an outdoor magazine. It's just a beautiful, you know, Pacific Northwest Rainforest, the, the North Fork of the Skykomish. It's just a wonderful place to relax and take some deep breaths. Guess who's here? <laughs> okay, my boyfriend Charlie made it here safely. He is already trying to fish. But let's be honest, he doesn't really ever catch anything. So we'll just practice, you know, the fly fishing motion, which will be nice. It's just stunning. Much like a river runs through it. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> oh. I 
I guess we call each other fiance. So that's also what happened this weekend. So maybe if you come too, you'll have <laughs> a romantic weekend with, like thunder. <laughs> with your special someone where maybe you're either getting, you know, an elopement like we met Scotland and Kay. I'm feeling this get up has a story. What's happening today? Uh, I'm conducting the symphony. No, I'm actually a I'm actually about to elope in about 30 minutes here. We wanted something super magical for our elopement, and so we found this uh, this wonderful Airbnb and booked it like immediately. And now I'm kicked out of it while she gets into her wedding dress and everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. What is your fiance's name? Uh, Kay. giving you the best places in Seattle to get ice cream. This place is wonderful. It's a Portland-based company. We come out with new flavors every single month. Right now we have the Berries, Berries, Berries series. Our cones are something that definitely drives our, you know, shop. We have so many people that come in saying like, wow, I smelled your cones coming from a mile away. Okay, the sea salt and caramel is 10 out of 10. That's the first one they ever did. Goat cheese with Marion Berry habanero. So, so this is gonna be spicy potentially a little. It's a, it's like a subtle spice. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> subtle, yeah. Hi, my name's Lee Kendall. I'm owner of Moto. I would say that we're an odd pizza, and that stems from my culmination of all my pizza making, and it comes together in kind of a grandma detroit sicilian style square and i wanted something fun to go with it and i came upon ice cream with some unique flavors and add some cones that we bake fresh here every day and that's called a chimney cake or a kirkto's kolach that comes from europe oh my lord this has chocolate and then i got fruity pebbles on here these are my little ube sticks this here is my crazy one for adventurers. This is gonna be black garlic wasabi waffle cone uh, with dipped in chocolate with coconut, a butter pecan. The sprinkles on here are actually fried chicken skin. And then I'm gonna finish it with my homemade garlic chili crisp. Okay, I am at my last stop actually in Upper Queen Anne at Molly Moon's Ice Cream. I absolutely love this place and I love that all of their shops are in amazing neighborhoods. This one in particular is near one of my favorite spots, Cary Park. If you haven't been there, grab an ice cream cone and go there. So Molly Moon is like a, one of the first gourmet ice cream shop opening in Seattle. And then all the uh, ice cream we make is like a, almost like a homemade ice cream and it's fresh. I feel like ice cream brings the whole community together. 10 out of 10. If I could give it a 15 out of a 10, I would. Where am I off to today? Vashon Island. What am I doing? I'm going to Nashi Orchards and I'm trying a new Perry line and I am so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. And look at this glorious day, no complaints. Let's go explore. Okay, that was the fastest ferry ever. It was literally 15 minutes to get to Vashon from West Seattle. So definitely worth it to just walk on. And now we get to eat and drink and be merry and let's go explore the island. I just got to the orchard and they immediately gave me a mocktail with the Perry. This is the best thing ever. This tastes so freaking good. Let's figure out what's in it. And people, this is the drink of summer. Cheers. Nashi Orchard says it all because Nashi means pear in Japanese. And our orchards originally, what we bought was a Japanese home that came with a large Asian pear orchard. And so it seemed only natural that we called our business Nashi Orchards. Perry is like cider, but the difference is a cider is when you um, are working with apples and Perry is when you're working with pears. Our tasting room is open every Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 5. And we have places where you can throw out a picnic blanket or you can sit at a 
table under a, a, a nice umbrella, or you can sit around the fire pit, or you can be inside. So we've got lots of options for people and they can really come out and just relax and enjoy about well, being close to nature, meeting our sheep. The girls are always fun and they're always wandering around. Without further ado, let's taste test and maybe meet some sheep. Can I come over? Come on, let's go! <laughs> yeah? Okay. Double sheep selfie. Tasting room. Taste test time. That isn't as sweet as I thought. No added sugar. Super delicious. Super light. On a beautiful day like today, this is it, people. Apparently, I'm a peri drinker now. Who knew? I'm living in a yurt for the next two days. It's epic. I'm at Friday Harbor on the San Juan Islands. So beautiful. The ferry here was absolutely gorgeous. You just drive to Anacortes, which takes you a little less than two hours. And then you hop on a ferry for less than an hour and you're in beautiful island life. And I've always wanted to stay in a yurt. And as soon as I heard about Lake Dale Resort's luxurious yurt, I had to sign up. Oh my gosh. Cutest full-size kitchen, big screen TV, king-size bed, full-size bathroom situation, nice little patio, barbecue, private hot tub. Okay, this is like the cutest thing ever. I've never stayed in a yurt and I'm already obsessed. So as you can see, this 450 square foot yurt takes glamping to the next level. The Scandinavian design is adorable and it really feels extremely spacious. That wrap around deck though, large sitting area, and even a sleeper sofa. You like it so far? Oh, I'm loving it. I'm obsessed. Trying out rowing today with a rowboat and a little fishing. You can do a lot of water activities. You can see behind me they're doing paddle boarding and they're riding like a big tricycle. So, so much to do. Here's to hoping that I catch a fish. Stick around for more fun adventures like how to rent a stranger's pool. No, seriously. Well, hello again and welcome back to this special edition of Local Lens Seattle. Up next, the Airbnb of pools. This story is gonna cool me off real fast. It is actually about a new app called Swimply, which is like the Airbnb of pools. So you can rent a pool hourly and you too can feel like you own a pool in your backyard. So I am so excited because as you can see behind me, we are going to a gorgeous property with what I can only assume is a gorgeous pool and much more. So let's go down this secret garden. I hear a pool. Oh my gosh, magical. I want to live here. Swimply is an app that allows you to find beautiful private pools in your area and an app for pool owners who find themselves paying for something consistently but not using their pool so much. We're in a little over 125 cities right now. Our biggest cities being in California, the tri-state area, and Texas, but we're doing a push in Seattle, which has been growing quite amazingly. Initially, it was built just for families, ultimately, that needed a affordable local escape, and now we see a lot of dates, photo shoots, swimming lessons, parties, bachelor parties. There's even a group of mermaids that use us on a weekly basis. And so the fact that we can provide people with an affordable local escape from the day to day on a Tuesday and not just on the three times a year that they get to escape their lives um, has been phenomenal. I booked a beautiful pool in the Bothell Mill Creek neighborhood that fits up to 25 guests. It even came with a cabana, basketball court, and putt-putt. The Seattle area has dozens of pool options, so try it out and even try a TikTok trend 
with the family like I did. Check it out. So I wanted to try a TikTok trend. Here's how it went. Recording now. <laughs> I'm in the Tri Cities. I just drove three hours. Don't worry, costume change. Did not wear this in the car. And I am so excited. It's a crossover event, and we're gonna be tourists. We're gonna go kayaking, wine tasting, electric bike riding, so many things. We're gonna, we're gonna eat good food. Let's do this, let's find her, and let's get our tourist on. Hi, yes! Are you so excited for this tourist day? I am so excited to check out the Tri-Cities. My first time ever in Eastern Washington in the Tri-Cities. I'm ready for some fun. The Tri-Cities is known for some great weather, and that means getting out and adventuring. The three rivers, Snake, Yakima, and Columbia, produce an aquatic playground second to none. Plus, it's known as the heart of Washington wine country. I wanted to see for myself, of course, so I opted for an electric bike riding cruise. The way I describe them is fun, fitness, and freedom. And the reason I say that is they're fun to ride, obviously. You do get exercise, contrary to some folks' opinions. And freedom, you kind of get you out like when you were a kid again. Use your throttle to start off. It'll get your momentum going, and then the people that crash don't have enough momentum. So I'm going to start here, and there we go, we're going to do this. It's that simple and smooth. Are you ready, Kel? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a great biker <laughs> okay. in general. So what we'll so, do, we'll get the helmets we'll on. We'll put on a helmet. It's been a minute since I've been on a bike, but um, I really paid attention during that tutorial. Did I get everything? We shall see. Go ahead, just let it get, get the momentum going. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. I didn't crash on camera, so that's something. You'll be an expert in like a mile. I hope so. So, Amity had a minor mishap. It had to happen to someone. We haven't even been to the winery yet. It was that post. Good morning, today is day two in the Tri-Cities and I am learning how to kayak. I actually have been on the kayak once with Jose from Evening. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, darling. I'm so excited to go down and see all of the things and let's have a good day. So far, so good. I kinda see rapids. Here comes Amity coming in hot. First, I'm not gonna lie, when we first started doing it, I was like, oh, there's gonna be a lot on the arms. <laughs> but that was amazing. Amazing. Okay, that was so much fun. Three hours on the kayak, I got a big arm workout, but Amity and I were pretty good at it. So now we're gonna go refresh and regroup and we have several other activities. So let's keep it going, people. We are learning how to throw axes. Amity, you've done this before. I have. And how did it go? <laughs> I mean, first couple times I was like, yeah, I got this. But then you really gotta stay attuned to like the directions that they give you. It's a real thing. And you told me the biggest thing is let go of the ax when yeah, you throw it. That's what they told me. <laughs> You got the hat. I have the hat. I'm not wearing the flannel. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Kelly. I didn't even make it to the wall. <laughs> and the score remains exactly. zero. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today for the last half an hour and inviting me into your community and more importantly, letting me tell your stories. This job is truly a dream come true, so thank you for the support. Subscribe to my show now if you aren't already by texting LENS to 206-448-4545. Bye!